Here's my review in one sentence. The Sennheiser HD 471i sounds pretty good for the price, it has good features, and it feels like plasticky crap. Is this the right budget headphone for you? Well, you're watching Lachlan Likes a Thing, and let's find out. I want to give a big thank you to all the regular viewers who support this channel on Patreon. This channel does not accept review units, so this review is brought to you by them. Join us and come say hi on the Discord server at patreon.com slash Lachlan Likes a Thing. So at the time I'm making this video, the Sennheiser HD 471i is a headphone you can buy uh, for $109.95 on Amazon. And I bought this on sale at JB Hi-Fi in Australia for $108 Australian dollars. So for once, something was actually cheaper in Australia. So as an Australian, you have to cherish these times. I should not hit the microphone so hard. Now there's not actually too many headphones I found that I can recommend uh, that I've tried for around $100. There's the Taxstar Pro 80, which uh, you may also know as the Kingston HyperCloud 2X or something. Um, I think uh, this is a great sounding headphone, but it's a bit hard to find and it really isn't for portable use. There's the Sony ZX701iP which you can find for well under $100. And I think it's a good headphone, but it does suffer from pretty severe bass roll off and poor isolation. So I was curious to try out the HD 471i, which sits at the top of Sennheiser's entry level around ear portable headphone line uh, on top of the HD 451 and the HD 461. The 471i, the i denotes uh, a smartphone remote for kind of iOS, you know, iPhone devices. And then there's uh, the 471G, which is for Android devices. On paper, this headphone ticks a lot of boxes. It's uh, lightweight, it's actually fully sealed and has an around ear design that works pretty well for portable use. And surprisingly for a headphone at this price point, it's got a detachable cable and it comes with two cables in the box, a 1.4 meter cable with a smartphone remote and a three meter cable, which means it can do, it can do just as well kind of tethered uh, to a computer. Um, it also comes with a carrying bag, which apparently the cheaper HD 451 and HD 461 lack. So they're really rolling out the red carpet for you on this one. On paper, this is a really good overall package because it's a $100 headphone that should work just as well outdoors as it does indoors. And just about the only thing it doesn't do uh, as far as features go is that it doesn't fold up or fold flat and doesn't have like active noise cancellation or anything fancy like that. But let's talk about how the design works in practice. And we'll start with the good news. The good news is that it's super lightweight, but it still has a secure fit on the head. Uh, despite the small and compact size of the ear cups, there's actually a fair amount of uh, depth to the inside of the ear pad. So your ears don't touch the inside of the headphone uh, like they do with something like the Sony ZX701iP. Unless I guess if your ears stick out like Prince Charles or something. Noise isolation isn't anything special, uh, but it doesn't leak sound outside because it is a fully sealed design. So um, it, it'll be suitable to use on the train or things like that. Here's the bad news. For some reason, I can't put my finger on, this headphone feels really, really cheap. Maybe it's the unfinished feel of all the hard edges on the plastic. Maybe it's this weird silver seashell pattern and the fake plastic chrome that I'm not a huge fan of. Maybe it's the really insubstantial feeling weight or maybe it's the thin, flimsy cable or the stiff ear pads. Whatever it is, this headphone feels much cheaper than it really should. Now, I know this headphone costs $100. I'm not expecting the world, but frankly, there's something wrong when the cardboard box this headphone comes in feels more classy than the headphone itself. And it's, it's a really nice box. The Sony ZX701iP, which you can buy. The Sony ZX701iP, which I don't think is uh, as good a headphone in terms of sound, but it is a headphone you can buy for $46 on Amazon. 
and it is a headphone with substantially better finishing. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't think that the HD 471i is actually poorly built, uh, in that I don't think it's going to break or fall apart on you. It actually seems like a decently robust design um, and I trust Sennheiser's quality control. But there's just something sort of embarrassing and awkward about the way this headphone feels in the hand. Now, maybe it matters to you and maybe it doesn't. But if you're looking for a nice $100 gift uh, to give someone, please keep in mind that this is a headphone that feels a little underwhelming out of the box. So that aside, how does it sound? Well, again, this is a $100 headphone, so I'm not expecting a magical mystery tour of sound, but I do think the HD 471, the HD 471i sounds decently balanced. It has a warmer sound that tilts towards the lower mid range, but unlike a lot of cheaper headphones, it actually has some nice punchy, not overwhelming bass. And in fact, I think the bass is probably um, the best part of this headphone. It's some of the best bass I've heard in a headphone of this price because it goes down quite deep with a real sense of impact, but it still manages to stay controlled and it doesn't bleed hugely into the mid bass. The vocals uh, on this headphone sound clear enough, uh, but they're not particularly emphasized and the high frequencies are a little uh, smooth over. So you get a headphone that's very relaxed and it's very mellow. Now tonally, it's sort of the opposite to the Audio Technica ATH M50X because the M50X is a headphone with hyper aggressive bass and treble and it tends to make sound, tends to make things sound very much in your face. And in comparison, the HD 471i is much more relaxed. And my main criticism of this headphone is that everything is kind of too relaxed. You know, while I like the amount of bass, I wish it was just a little bit deeper. Um, and while the highs are smooth on this headphone, I wish there was more of an edge to them so that stringed instruments, cymbals, and female vocals kind of sounded a bit more detailed. Because at the moment, because there's this roll off at both ends, the Sennheiser can sound a little bit closed in and congested. In that sense, the HD 471i sounds like a, a budget version of the classic Sennheiser mid-range sound. So it sounds like a less articulate, more congested version of, you know, my Sennheiser Game 1 headset. And from memory, it probably sounds a lot like a cheaper, you know, more congested version of the HD 598 as well. Again, it's $100, but it is $100. So is it $100 well spent? Now, I went into this review hoping to find a gem or like a real giant killer. Unfortunately, this headphone doesn't really blow me away in those terms. Now, I still think the Taxstar Pro 80 is the best headphone that I've heard for a hundred, oh, under a hundred dollars. Um, and I think it's got more of a dynamic, more of a detailed sound. Uh, it's a little more aggressive in the treble. But I think for $100 with the HD 471i, you are getting a decently versatile overall package. You're getting a comfortable headphone, comfortable fit, um, and you're getting a relaxed sound that will work for all genres. Um, it's just not gonna blow you away and you kind of have to overlook this build quality. Now, if there's anything that you think I didn't cover in this review, then feel free to pop a comment in the comment section. And if you found this video helpful, then go ahead and like and subscribe. Next video, we'll be looking at the ATH E70, which is Audio Technica's new triple balanced armature pro monitoring flagship. Now, the R70X is sort of my daily driver home use uh, headphone, and the ATH IMO2 is my daily driver uh, for portable use. So I'm hoping that this is going to be able to combine some of the best qualities uh, of both and replace my IMO2. Will it? Well, tune in next week. Uh, and in the meantime, happy listening. Did I say the cables were getting all cabled up or did I say the tangles were getting all cabled up? I don't know, I might be having a stroke. <laughs>